Okay, guys, I'm back, and I uh, have promised to do a uh, video about cutting out stuff and putting it in paintings or mounting it in a multimedia. So um, I thought I'd do that today. Um, what you have is, this is Photoshop, and Photoshop, you can have a really old, old version. It doesn't really matter. Um, all you have to do is um, open a file you like, and this time I'm going to be using um, this little thing that I drew on my iPad with iPad Pencil. Apple Pencil, I should say. Now, the size it is doesn't really matter uh, because when we go to print it, we go up here, we say file, we say print. Well, I could go back. Let's go back a few steps. Uh, say you just drew this on um, on this uh, canvas, and um, you can you can adjust this. Let's say um, these little holes aren't big enough. You could go and uh, get your uh, little eraser, make it a little bit smaller here, and just make these holes a little bit bigger, something like that. And if you you have to really smooth them out, so. Uh, this is sort of work that you want to do when you're in a really nice little Zen mode. You can make those holes a little bigger. Uh, let's see, what is the smallest hole I can find? I think this one. So let's make this a little bit bigger. That way the uh, brother scan and cut can uh, deal with it. But you get my idea. You could add to it or you can make the holes bigger or smaller, whatever you want. Now, when you're satisfied with what you have, you go up here, you go to print, and you will see, here's the example. This is how big it would be printed out. It's This is A4 uh, format, so that's way too big. Then the only thing you have to do is go down here, and you go to your scale, and I would say we need half of it. So if you put the scale to 50%, it um, makes it smaller by 50%, and I think that's the size we really want. So I'm going to print this out and then take you guys upstairs to the Brother Scan and Cut, and I'll show you how um, I let it cut. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I put the, um, the print. Here is the print. I put it on the mat, and... Oh, it's unloading the map. Sorry about that. Got to load it again. Okay, now all you do is press scan and say scan to cut data and press the button. Now it has scanned um, the print that I put on the mat, and now it's recognizing what I just let it scan. And this takes a little bit, and that depends on how uh, intricate your pattern is that you want it uh, to cut. But as you can see, it's already loading it up. And in a second, you will see it appear on the little screen. There it is. And that is what we wanted to cut out. Now, I, you choose the second one because that that cuts out everything around it, but also everything inside it, all those little holes. So that's what we do. And it's processing, and it has already found it. And now all you have to do is say, save. Yes. That's good. We want to save it on the machine. Saved in the machine's memory, number four. And now I would like it to cut. Uh, okay, I want a direct cut. I want this one. Recognition mode, okay. Okay. 
Yes, I think so. Now it's doing the same thing again. Sorry about that. And it has to recognize it again. Okay. Okay. And we want to no, this is an outline. Sorry guys. It's outlining it. Let's go home. Delete all patterns. Okay. Uh, pattern. I I think it's saved data, that one. Here it is. Okay. Now we will say, okay, okay, cut. And it's going to cut out the little pattern. Right now it's cutting out the little holes. Don't know what it's cutting out there, but... What it's really doing on the side here is because it's scanned the whole mat, there's a little bit of grubby, dirty stuff on there, and I think it scanned that in. So it's trying to cut that out also, but that's not what it normally does if you have a clean mat. I'll just let it go, but there's a thing that you can do to avoid that. Now we're going to let it, okay. Now we can take it off. As you can see here, it cut the whole thing off there. So here is the, uh, the piece of photo paper. And here is my little thing that I'm going to use. So I'm going to peel it off. Here it is. Oops, where is my camera? Here it is. See that? A couple of little pieces that I have to push out. But now I'm going to take you down and show you what I normally do with it.
Okay, now we're downstairs again in the studio. I have my little, um, let me get a piece of paper. That way you can see it better. <clears throat> now we have this uh, cut out thingy. And what I do is because it's always cut out, but as you can see, you see the white because it's photo paper. So then <clears throat> I just take a little brush and I go all over it. And I do that for two reasons. Number one is because I don't want the white of the paper showing because that makes it just that little bit more unprofessional. And number two is that if you put paint all over it, it has the ideal base for you to put some glitter on it. Yeah. There it is. Make it, I'm doing it really fast, guys, but normally I take a little bit more time to do this. So we pick it up. And now we see that it is almost totally black. See that a little bit of edges that we missed? But you get the idea. I'm not going to do it too long. Then we can uh, take a little bit of glitter. This is a new one. I have to cut it open. There it is. And we put a little glitter on it like that. See that? A little bit of shiny glitter. Don't have to, but you can. And then we take anything that we want to put it on. Like say I put it on here. But then without the uh, the string gel. And then we have another little cute little painting. And that is exactly what I did with the resin. Let me see here. This is exactly the same that I did with this. So I cut this out on the Brother Scan and Cut just like this. I put it on there, I painted it, put a little bit of glitter on, as you can see, and uh, that's how we do it. So we don't even have to um, put resin over it. You can stick this on, make sure it, you glue it totally flat, and then when it's dry, we can uh, varnish it. Then you can put it on the frame, and we have a nice little thingy majingy. Now, another thing I was going to show you guys, because I had a couple of people, um, wait a minute. I had a couple of people saying, you can just put string in uh, acrylic paint and then put the string on, the, on this and it'll have the same effect. Absolutely not. Because, as you can see, this is uh, still thick. You can see it laying on top. I'm not sure if you can tell. Let me get you in really close. You can see that it is uh, really shiny and that doesn't happen with acrylic paint. And it's, it's, it's laying on top. It's sort of thick and you can feel, you can feel it. So it's a little bit raised. I'm not sure if you can pick that up, but it is absolutely shiny. It's, really really pretty to look at and as you can see here this is what i did with the with the pen and this is the string gel so you see a really big difference in appearance and i think the string gel is kind of pretty if you're going to make these little um these little paintings so like i did this one this was kind of cute let me get you back in focus that one's kind of cute and then, of course, if you don't have the string gel, you could just put this on. Uh, I would pick something where you get some colors popping through. Now you have to forget the string gel, but just this thing here, that would make it really pretty. So that's sort of, um, I can show you another one. Because I have uh, some of these watercolors that I did. So I would take this and put it 
right here. See how the colors pop right through, how pretty that is? And then put that one over. There we go. I kind of like that. And of course, if you like another color, the really bright colors. See how pretty that is? And really, if you do these, um, you could you could go for just black paper and then let it just cut out this thing because with the brother scan and cut you can uh, let it um, load that image into the machine. Then you put some colored paper uh, on the mat and it'll cut it out out of colored paper. So that that any way you want to do it. But um, I do think that if you want to do a lot of these that as a brother scan and cut because if I were to cut this out by hand that would take me I don't know at least an hour hour and a half to do it all neatly like this so if you're planning on doing a lot of these things I'm pretty sure that one of these brother scan and cuts would really come in handy and it would save you a lot of time so uh, that's how I do it guys and I'm thinking do I still have to tell you something else well, I had a lot of questions about the batter thing. Let me get that thing. A lot of people ask me, what, what is that? Well, um, it's you put batter in there. Uh, oh yeah, I'm smoking. Sorry, guys, but I have to have a smoke. Very bad habit, I know, but I'm really busy. Um, they put batter in here then they dispense it you know when you make pancakes or you make cupcakes you just pull the lever and out comes the batter or for any of your cupcakes and it's just a batter dispenser so nothing really um well nothing you can't buy in every shop i went looking online and they have all kinds of these things uh, usually they're plastic, but I sort of like this, the uh, steel one, because you can clean it easier than the plastic one, I guess. But this one does leak a little bit, so they're not really made that well, but they're only a couple of bucks, so uh, you can't really, you know, have too much of comments about it. But that's a batter dispenser. Okie dokie guys, I think uh, we're ready here and um, I'm going to put this one on YouTube. want to thank you all again. You've been really nice over the weekend, giving me so many compliments about my YouTube award that I'm really happy about. So um, thanks all. See you in the next video, which will be this weekend. Okay guys, see ya, love you to pieces.